how we can plot the deformed shape as well as actual shape and how we can plot the factor of safety for whole frame structure and factor of safety for a specific members and stress plots in exact directions as well as shear moment in direction ones for a specific members and shear moments shear forces so in this simulation you will learn all this so first of all open this uh, 3d model of a weldment frame in solidworks and start a new simulation study give it and the two static from simulation type you can also give a specific name to your this simulations after that our first step is to assign the material to all these structural members so in order to assign the material you can go here and here is the cut list of this weldment structure just right click on the cut list and up go to your favorite material that is plain carbon steel click here so plain carbon steel material has been assigned to every member of this structure you can ensure if we go to drop down here you can see that the plain carbon steel has been assigned to every members after that here you can see the purple dots as well as these yellow ones here are the fixed joints these are joints between two or three members and these joints show that these joints are free they are not joint they are this and is the free end so we will define the beam joints just go to edit from joint group and select all then treat as joint for clearance select this option equal to zero touching and calculate so you can see the results of the different joints has been defined so total number of joints are 16 that has been calculated in this problems okay after that we will make apply a fixed boundary conditions to these four joints or four free ends just right click on the fixtures and select fixed geometry then select these four yellow joints this one this third one and the last so actually this frame table is fixed at its these four legs now you will apply the load of 48,000 Newton on these four members so in order to apply a force just go to loads and select the force options and from here there are three options versus joints and the beam we will select the beam options and select all these four beams and here is the directions we will select the top directions top plane as a reference plane and the units of the force are in SI units that are Newton you can click here so this is the force applied in the X directions no this force will apply in the Y directions 
you can see this is the force you can increase the symbol size of this force make it double so we apply the force in this y directions enter its value that is 48000 newton Are in negative y axis. Okay. Now create the mesh. So mesh is being generated now. After that, run your SOLIDWORKS simulation study. and wait your solution converged so our solution has been completed we will examine the bending stresses as well as axial stresses and the bending movement as well as shear force diagrams in each member of the beam If you go to edit definitions and select the units to megapascal, here is the upper bound axial and bending combined stress. So maximum bending stress is 181 megapascals. And here is the deformations that maximum deformation occur in the middle part of this structure that is 0.81 millimeter you can also animate the deformation behavior after that we will can calculate the factor of safety of overall structure or height of any members of this frame to go define the factor of safety and from the body option select the all so minimum factor of safety is 1.2 that is greater than 1 that means your frame is safe under this load of 48000 newton if you want to define or evaluate factor of safety for a specific member again go to define factor of safety and here option select the selected bodies and select the body for which you want to evaluate factor of safety this one okay so factor of safety for this beam member is 3.8 and this is the factor of safety for this whole frame. Similarly, we can calculate the axial stress values in each members or in any members of this frame structures. Again, go to results and click on the defined stress plot select the unit to mega pascal and from type select the axial we want to calculate the stress so this is the axial stress value that the maximum axial stress is in compressive state is 35 megapascals. You can see these four legs are in compression state. Negative symbol shows that the compressive axial stress applied on these four legs of this frame. While here on these upper four beams, these upper two beams 
here is the stress that is in tension and the next thing is how we can calculate the bending moment diagrams just again from results define the beam diagrams and just show the shear force in direction 1 and select the if you want to select the all so shear force in direction will be will be calculated for R members and if you want to evaluate shear force for each members just select that one so this is the shear force for this top beam similarly you can also calculate the this is direction once similarly you can and calculate the shear force in direction 2 again if we want to for this member just select this one So this is the shear force in direction 2, this is the shear force in direction 1 and in the end you can also evaluate the bending moments, just select the moment in direction 1, from here you can select any members, so here is the bending moment for this member. You can also you can see in the this is there the circular members. You can also draw the actual shape and show the actual shape of the members. So just go to the edit definition of displacement results and from the settings select deformed plot options and select superimpose model then define your transparency level you can see this is the actual model and this is the deformed model and this is the scale up I hope you enjoyed this simulation tutorials. If you have any query, you can ask us in comment sections. Thank you for watching.